Any pro tips for newbies that are starting this game? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow, minus 28 only. Phew. Uh, so, a few quick pro tips. Okay. Uh, there's like... Obviously, you've got four roles. First of all, specialists just means they don't belong to a role, but they're generally sure. I'll show you a damage trick dealers. Or two. So, see a specialist as an Sounds assassin, and don't worry about picking multiple specialists. Then, uh, a lot about this game is about the map objective. Concentrate around the map objective, help your team, uh, and so on. Then, before level 10, experience soaking is very important. After sure. level 10, it's still important, but it requires a little bit of game strategy and knowledge to know exactly when you are allowed to split off from your team. So if you're not sure yet, make sure to follow your team more than strictly uh, usual. Furthermore, you want to make use of all the time between your auto attacks. Uh, this is called stutter stepping because it looks like you keep stuttering. Whatever character you play, support, damage, tank, most of them, especially if they're ranged, can benefit from moving in between attacks. And there's a few purposes for this. Okay, first, you attack someone and you just stand there till your next attack. You can see that you have one attack per second, so the time in between attacks can be used to do something that doesn't involve walking after them only once they start moving. So, after you play a few games, you start to realize that people will start moving when you attack them. Either towards you because they're angry, or away from you because they're scared. Once you know which way they're going to move, if you feel confident, you can start to move along with them in between auto attack. So you attack, you move, attack, you move. Now, if you're not sure exactly how much you're allowed to move in between attacks, I suggest playing it safe. Move maximum half a second between attacks, even though you'll still stand still for a bit. Let me show you. You see, Jaina still waits a bit before she attacks again. Because I don't move enough. Actually, I can move this much. Once you get a good feeling and rhythm for it, it's kind of like Dance Dance Revolution. Even when you cast spells, you always want to move in between. This is called Stutter Stepping and is really useful for keeping up with people who are trying to run away. Or kiting away from people that are trying to kill you. Even when you think there's no one in the lane, make sure to always Stutter Step anyway. What if right here in the bush there is a Nova or even a Vala hiding? And they're like, ah, this person is standing still. Well, let's use a hungering arrow or a snipe to attack them. It's unmissable unless they're our target. So, I'm if you keep me. moving even when you don't expect there's a ninja hiding around the corner, you reduce the chance of random skill shots from the bushes hitting you. But let's say there could be someone ganking from top lane in there, this bush. Just keep moving. They're much more likely to miss it. Even though there seems to be almost no purpose, I maybe you even think it's this. like quite tiring to move in between attacks. But it's definitely a very good habit that you want to pick up. So that is one of the main ways that you can min-max your damage, even when you are not an assassin. Now, there are characters that you don't want to auto-attack too much with, because they simply put you at risk. In fact, Chromie and Jaina are some of those they are characters that don't really allow you to auto-attack all the time per se. If you look at a good mage player, they will come in, move their rather large cooldowns, 10 second cone of cold, blizzard 15, and then kind of move away. And you start moving away just because you just don't know yet what they're going to be doing. Your first instinct after... Let's say I want to kill this guy, right? I'm like this. Okay. First move away, then see if you can go back into the fight to auto-attack and maybe cast another crossbow. Maybe you feel that you can auto-attack some. Generally, when the odds are on your side, if you have five people here and you know for a fact on the minimap there's someone doing PvE here on the opponent's side, 5v4 and you've got your support with you, then you can be like, okay, I can be a little bit more aggressive and get like 80% of my auto-attack time up against them. But if you are at risk of getting ganked, then you need to be more careful, more conservative. Now something about experience soaking. When you are with one enemy in a lane, like we are right here, Jaina versus Arthas, you gotta ask yourself, what is my objective? Is it to deny experience from the opponent? 
or is it to kill them or do i want to kill their towers now everything is theoretically possible if you're the right character with okay. the right skill against the right opponent but let's say my allies are abathur murky for instance that means they're probably gonna lose their lanes which frees up opportunity costs for my opponents to join arthas in the lane to try and get a gank on me if i know that i'm more likely to get attacked I'll, I'll answer hotkey questions later, Draconius. If I know I'm this. more likely to get ganked by, by, by the opponent, then that my allies would be doing the ganking on Arthas. There's no real reason to attack the minions as I'm doing it. A lot of people, they work out of a certain kind of habit. If there is a minion wave, attack them. But the only thing it really does is to Let's save a bit of HP damage on your forts. Now, this is try mode, so you don't actually take damage or lose ammunition, as you can see. But if it was a real game, we would eventually start taking half a tower damage and losing HP and so on. But that is kind of okay. That is definitely better than dying once. Time is of the essence. So we we keep uh, using our towers to soak XP. Another thing is like, with. if you've decided not to attack the minion wave, because there's no purpose to going all the way across the lane to the opponent's towers and be like, oh, I want to kill the minion way fast so I can start attacking the tower. Oh no, I'm so deep in the lane, there's someone ganking me. If you find out that there's no purpose to do that because it's full of risk, because the enemy has a quicker rotation to your lane, stay mounted. There's no reason to either auto attack or cast spells. Let your towers do the work, and when you are mounted, you can more quickly react to information about someone coming out of the bushes or smoke screen or whatever. So the safe way to play is to stay in XP range. Heroes of the Storm is not like other MOBAs where you need to last hit the minions to get either XP or gold. First of all, there is no gold. Secondly, the XP range is about this. Look at that. There'll be like a little XP thing if you're near enough when the minion dies. That one wasn't. Sure. And these two are. So the range is about half a screen in width. So as long as you stay in XP range, you don't really need to attack them. This is close enough for these two minions that will be dying. Now get the XP, get the XP on that one. So that is the safe way to play it. But if you know that you are a better pusher than your opponent and you are unlikely to get ganked, by all means, keep clearing the way, bully your opponent, push to their tower and try to take down a tower because that's going to give you bonus XP. But these are just some of the simple basic tips that have nothing to do with team fighting yet. A lot of the other concepts, like a warrior should take the damage that would otherwise go to his team's assassins, are commonsensical and will improve over time. But the game mechanics, the objective and the laning phase are sometimes equally important. I feel like people still undervalue the, the value of proper early game laning and a lot of people still playing on automatic pilot. The death itself is like three to five minions, yes, but the, the the burden it puts on your allies to rotate to your lane to start soaking the experience that you are now not soaking because you are dead, that one is a pretty big knock-on effect. Track them down. Oh my god, such a good march. What's sweeter than that? Imagine if I still had BFG too. Let's blast this fort to bits. This'll be a blast. 